A garden project created by prisoners at Auckland Prison in Paremoremo is set to feature at this year's New Zealand Flower and Garden Show. The feature garden is based around the prisoners' road back to redemption. To Mano Kōrehi reporter John Boynton has more. There's a clear blue sky at the nursery of Auckland Prison in Paremoremo, which is nicely hidden from the endless line of metal gates surrounding the facility. The impressive nursery is where trees, plants and flowers are being grown for the garden show. Auckland Prison Manager of Industries, David Greer, says prisoners' self-worth and confidence grow under these projects. They're not specifically commercially focused, so you know, the outcomes are sort of more social outcomes for us. And it's a great chance for us to show off the skill set and the amazing ability that some of these men have. Mr Greer says prisoners pick up horticultural qualifications and a chance to learn skills they can use once back in the community. I find that the idea that prisoners don't care about anything is not true. Some people have got this idea that because they're prisoners they no longer care. Uh, and I've found that that's not actually true. Many of them have still have deep connections to their own whanau. In the prison workshop, prisoners are working on different elements of the garden design. Prisoner A has skills in weaving and Māori craft and is helping to make the centrepiece of the garden a woven seating area. So it represents a um, kohanga or a nest, which is symbolic of the, the whānau setting and hence the reason why it's been woven. Each strand is like the strand of the Fano, coming together, working together, being woven together. Without those relationships within a Fano, we as prisoners, or we as people, cannot succeed. Prisoner B is creating metal tea coca trees out of old exhaust pipes. Pretty good, yeah, picking up a whole new style of work. So I'm used to just doing bins, and this is a complete different other style, so it's pretty good, yeah. The main hard bit is the bark, yeah, the bark feature, just non stop welding, stop, start, stop, start, yeah. Redemption is the main theme of the garden, and I asked prisoners what they thought about this. It's a good question. Forgiving oneself, first and foremost, and moving on, moving on with life. I mean, you can't right the wrongs. We can't right our wrongs, but we can try. We cannot turn the clock back and reverse what we've done. That's history. But we can try our best to give a little bit back to society in the form of helping with these projects and putting our effort and labour and energy into it. Adam Shooter designed the garden and had input from prisoners. Mr Shooter says he saw them develop as a project gathered momentum. When we first started doing it, there's a few of the guys into it, but every week they're kind of like a few more and a few more, you know, giving a hand and they're right into it. Yeah, you can see the passion of them, eh? I can see the change in their faces. The garden will feature native plants, illusion panels and a reflective pond. Mr Shooter says the garden features various paths, reflecting the journey prisoners make on their way out of prison. And they can either go two ways, the easy way, back to jail, or with family support and that, they can uh, succeed. The garden will be on display this November in Auckland at the New Zealand Flower and Garden Show. Mo te hōtaka o te ahi ahi nei, ko John Boynton aho.